What is Animal Crossing and why should you care? Animal Crossing is a virtual Zen garden with enough variables to make every playthrough and every player experience entirely unique. If you've ever spent time chasing aesthetic by rearranging furniture in a room, or playing dress up, whether in real life or on a virtual avatar, Animal Crossing is the scratch for that OCD itch you may not have known you had. What's specific to Animal Crossing, however, is that this Zen garden is alive. The in-game clock reflects time in real life. Day is daytime in the game, nighttime is night in game, shops close, villagers sleep. In-game events like concerts will occur at specific times and for those times only. And if you don't log in for a few days, villagers will wonder where you've gone. Weeds may grow, animals may potentially move in or move away. And if you're gone long enough, there may even be roaches to worry about. Upon your initial arrival, the talking animals are little more than neighbors. What isn't immediately apparent are the personality types that these animals boast. Some are peppy, others snooty, some can even be athletic, but all have unique tastes and preferences. The animals range from, oh my gosh, to funny looking to downright mystifying. Robotic and stuffed animal villagers may provoke you to wonder if they're real or just a normal animal in a costume. Are these in-universe body modifications on display? Uh, is there an Animal Crossing tattoo shop? The villagers are what gives the game its charm. And oftentimes, a villager that you don't think you even care about will say or do something that makes you think, you son of a bitch, you're in. As a man, I cringe when I hear other corny YouTubers constantly using the word cute and cozy to describe Animal Crossing, as if the sky being blue was some sort of revelation. A cute character doesn't do anything for me, but a pretty character that's actually subtly a jerk? That's someone I want on my island. If you're like me, you might choose villagers based on how strange or cranky they are. But it might be wiser to choose villagers with similar tastes to yours to gradually build up a friendship in the hopes that they'll gift you furniture that you like. You might ask, why not just buy the furniture that you like? Because the furniture available to you refreshes or rotates on a daily basis and is completely random. Therefore, it will take you time in Animal Crossing to accumulate the things that you like. Time. Animal Crossing is not a game that dumps everything on you at once. You give a little, you get a little. Come back the next day, rinse and repeat. Getting the in-game currency to buy furniture is where the gameplay comes in. Fishing, picking fruit, digging up fossils, or catching bugs to sell may seem like 90% of this game, but to most players, it's only a means to an end. I want to expand my house. Guess I'll fish to sell. I want to buy new clothes. Guess I'll dig up fossils to sell. Player choice is 100% of what makes the Animal Crossing experience unique, and your island can now reflect your exact vision down to where the shops are placed, where your villagers' homes are placed, where bridges, ramps, water, and even land does and doesn't go. If you're fine with a one-room home, you can catch one of each type of fish and fill up an aquarium. You can dig up fossils and assemble dinosaur skeletons in a museum. You can grow flowers and trees, design patterns for clothes, paintings, or wallpapers in your home, Gather all your favorite villagers in Photopia and make some damn memes for the internet. There is no pressure in Animal Crossing to play any specific way. You play your way at your own pace and invest the amount of time you desire and expect rewards relative to that time investment. It's not a reflex test. You're not jumping through hoops. Don't have to mitigate hunger by foraging for food. You're not here to save the world. Log in check your mail, walk around, pick an apple, see what's in the shop, 
talk to a villager or two, log the hell out, and come back another time. Animal Crossing, to me, is an exercise in serenity. It's offered an escape that effortlessly provokes emotion in this grown-ass man at the most unexpected of times. The track you're listening to is called Stale Cupcakes. It's from the game. Games are often distractions, an opportunity to unwind or escapes from reality. You hear kids throw around phrases like vibe and mood, but few have been silenced by the feelings that a title like this has provoked with its fans. Art is more than colors and shapes on a canvas. Games are more than a series of ones and zeros. And titles like Animal Crossing punch through the chaos, loneliness, hostility, the expectations of what for many is a harsh reality. It stretches its arms wide for an embrace to you when and if you're ready and not a second before. It's a slow start but a huge payoff. You know what they say. Good things come to those who Wait. My name's Kyle. Thank you for listening.